Hi Capricorn, welcome back for your mid-February reading. Those of you who are new, very warm welcome and returned subbies, welcome back crew. Okay, as for the banner directly behind me, it is for the channel that I have launched on YouTube for the Twin Flame Journey. I'll turn the camera a little bit and you can see it, there you go. Um, the booking system for both channels is exactly the same website. Again, when you land on the page, the link is below. Scroll down a bit and the booking page is there. To book, you pick a day, a time, a style and it takes you through the whole process and you do get a notification via email. It takes you through the payment details. It's very simple. And if you subscribe to the website, when I do have specials and discounts, they go directly out to you. Now, as for the astrology and the general part of the readings, they are at Yilda's Readings. And um, if you wish to subscribe, you can be in the running for a free reading during the live sessions and also when I am hosting them each month. The energy coming through for you guys, let's get down to it. You're not letting something go. You are seriously not letting something go. This can be a direct person or the way in which you perceive something. You're trying to get grounded. I feel somebody's writing your back about something. This can even be about how you feel about this person and they're getting angry at you. You're also seeing an aspect of your demeanor inside another person. Now, this can be a mirroring of you and them in the way both families relate to each other. This could be within a connection or out. The energy coming through for you is somebody is not liking the way you're relating and they're slightly... They're slightly controlling, but I don't feel this is the love interest. Some of you, it may be your love interest, but there's a, no, I want to do what I want to do energy. And it's like a bossy frequency coming through. This can be in the way you communicate your love and the person you're picking. It can even be a, a cultural difference where family members aren't seeing eye to eye. But I do feel regardless, somebody's holding you back. If you have separated and you're co-parenting, it might be a very controlling ex. It just feels someone's trying to pull you in a particular direction. The interesting thing is you have personal boundaries in reverse. And some of you might be going to court. It may be that they're overstepping the mark and really controlling you. Um, it's, it's impacting your future movement. And it's also impacting the way in which this situation is settling things. But I do feel this energy is going to tie up. You're really having to dig deep. This can be for your finances and, and for for dirt, I'm hearing. I don't know why that's relevant. It's like, it can be that they're doing this. You've also changed your perspective on how you're going to deal with love interests. And again, this could be a very separate energy where it's your work domain and it's causing conflicts within your relationship. And you're battling and it's taking a lot of time up for you. You're really trying to get to the bottom of this, okay? You're having to follow your higher your higher knowledge with situations. Some of you are having to work extremely long hours where other people are falling down. You're standing up. There's going to be unexpected joy, okay? If you have a boss, they're going to see this attitude. You might actually meet a person at work. Now, if you have a love interest already, they may be feeling the strain, but they know you're carrying an awful lot. I'm also seeing that while you've got this going on, because there's several stories coming through. Some of you literally are going through a separation. There's disputes with children. Others of you, it just does feel a real controlled energy, and you're sort of like looking at the whole situation. You won't find it amusing while you're in it, but after the fact, you're going to. So try and not grind your teeth down to the bone. Uh, be patient if this is what's going on. Otherwise, look at your rising sign. If somebody's not letting this situation go. It's either they're not letting you go, they don't want you to break up with them, or they don't want you to move forward. But I feel as though your energy is, look, I'm moving on up. I'm, I'm watching this, and I've been waiting for this for a very long time. They do not want you to leave. For those of you who are coupled, they don't want you to leave. Some of you who had already left, your ex is really meddling. 
or your ex's spot. There's a control freak here. I can feel a control freak. They're adamantly saying to me there is a control freak around you. Okay, you know what your desires are. Something is ending, but it hasn't yet. It's sort of hanging about. This can even be the person. You're not feeling the blessings in it. It's like cutting ties, cutting contracts, communication coming in. Another person who's really feeling a loss from you, but I feel this person's frequency is better. They may have already separated and put that crap to bed. And they're coming in as a truthful friend, right? You guys are in it. I'm literally saying this may be just for a certain pocket of you. There is a certain pocket that have separated and both parties on both sides have separated and this shit going down in Chinatown, okay? Because you've got separation, right? It, it's done. No love there. Communication in relation to that. You might not even know that each of you have separated, but this is the journey you're going down. It's like you're literally going to meet someone who has gone through exactly the same as you. You are trying to avoid misfortune. This other person may have tried to miss, you know, avoid misfortune, but something was taken from them. There is a synchronistic pattern here. Both of you in your life want to be happy. So whoever the soulmate energy is coming into you, towards you, Whatever you've been through in your life, they've completely mirrored it and you, you're just going to gel so well. There is an energy that you totally grasp what each other have gone through. Very separately, the other energy coming through is you're going through a conflict at the moment. You're really focused on work. You've got a lot of shit going down around you. And all you can do is really dig in and you just, it's like you're being an observer to life, but you're really working hard. There is there is conflict, especially with the aspect of finances, and you're going to have the last laugh, I'm hearing. So stay true to your path. Let them deal with their core wounds. I feel you're just watching the shit show. And I do feel this is going to tie up, but it's very, it's very frustrating. Yeah, you've really got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. You're like, you know what, this is complicated. I don't want complicated in 2019. Let's keep this as calm and neutral as possible. Some of you also, I'm seeing moving states to totally transform your life through in a very different way to what you lived in 2018. Love and light, guys. I'll see you during the month.